Okay, super simple pendulum. I'm going to take a neodymium magnet, which is a very strong magnet, stick it to the bottom of the nut, and if we let this thing swing back and forth, you can see that it swings for quite a long time. Now the cool thing about these magnets is they stick quite well to things like iron, nickel, and cobalt, but this is a piece of aluminum, and the magnet will not stick to it whatsoever. Nothing. Bring it close to that uh, iron nut and you'll see that it right away sticks to it. So, if I move the piece of lumen out of the way, get the pendulum to swing back and forth, it will swing for a very long time. But, if we take the aluminum plate and put it underneath, and you can see that it doesn't actually touch the plate. There's a little bit of an airspace. Now we let the pendulum go and it breaks almost instantly. Why is this happening? As the magnet moves across the aluminum plate, it's generating a current inside the aluminum plate which generates a magnetic field. That magnetic field is trying to oppose or slow down or stop this magnet from swinging. Okay, here we've got an aluminum disc, which if I turn the motor on, will start to spin it quite quickly. And if we turn it off, it's no longer being powered. You can hear that it's slowing down. It will spin for at least 10 to 15 seconds before eventually coming to rest. Now I'm gonna turn it back on again. Get it up to speed. In my hand, I've got the neodymium magnet one more time. Sounds a little bit noisy. I'm going to bring the magnet real close. And what you'll notice is it takes away most of the speed. Okay, now we're going to get it spinning again. Okay, turn off the uh, power. I'm going to bring the magnet real close and not touch and it almost instantly stops. So what we're doing is creating an electromagnetic break where the magnet, when it gets close enough, causes the induced current in the aluminum disc to make another magnetic field that wants to stop the rotation. Super handy for amusement park rides where you need them to come to rest and you don't want to rely on an old system of friction pads with brakes stopping the ride in case the friction pads wear out.